Amen. God told Jeremiah, Amen. Before I formed thee in the depth, I knew you. And before I came forth out of thy mother's womb, I sanctified and ordained you a prophet. Somebody say, sanctify. Amen. That means that, means that you belong to God. I said, all of you belong to God. All, all the parts of you belong to God. And the God who is the God of peace wants to sanctify you. And then how he wants to do it, he wants to do it holy. Now that you look, I did. It's not H-O-L-Y there. It's W-H-O-L-Y. This God who is the God of peace, amen, he wants to sanctify you. That is, set you aside. And then he wants to do it holy. That means complete. That means totally. Totally. As you can say, it's a totally. Totally. Amen. And so God wants all of you. He's got something to do with all of you. Yeah, I'll get there. And so holy, come on. And I pray God. And then Paul writes about the Spirit. I pray, in addition to what God is doing, I've added my prayer to this. I pray that the God, uh-huh. Your whole spirit. Your, pray to God that your whole, again, W-H-O-L-E. That means total. Yes, sir. Come on, say total man. Total, total man. man. That your whole body, come on. Whole spirit. Whole Spirit and soul, soul and, body and body be preserved blameless. Now, amen. 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 That your whole spirit, soul, body. Uh -huh. Tonight, my assignment, I think the brother said, is soul. Yeah. Amen. amen. What is this part of me? This one part of me. Amen. Glory to God. My soul. My soul. My soul. If you can catch this in the spirit. Yes. You are a tripart being. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. There are three parts of us. Yes, sir. Amen. When I look in the mirror, I only see one part. Go to James while you're there. James 1, 23, 24, 25. Amen. Amen. Well, this might go with me. Amen. Work it out. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir, right. Amen. And so, all right. And so, he said, Amen. That the God of peace sanctify you, spirit, soul, body. And, and the order is important. Amen. It doesn't start with the outward, it starts with the spirit. I said, God wants to change us, but He wants to change us from the inside out. I said, all of this must begin outside, it begins on the inside. Your spirit, yes. and then it moves to your soul, and then it moves to your body. And there was a long time in my life when I did not understand this, and it gave way to quite a bit of confusion in my life. Yes, it gave way to quite a bit of frustration in my walk with God because I was trying to do something in my flesh, and it wasn't going to start with my flesh. The Bible said, Not by power nor by might, but it had to be by God's spirit.
spiritual side of us. Uh -huh. Amen. God is a spirit. Yes. Yes. Oh, amen to that. Yes. I said God is a spirit. Yes. And then that worship him, let's worship him, yes. huh? In spirit yes. and in truth. Uh -huh. And so people have to connect God in the spirit. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Thank God that he, he gave us his spirit. Yeah. You know, James, don't go back with Galatians, part of Genesis 2, 7, and God breathed in the man. And so he gave him, amen, a spirit. And then something happened, man became a living soul. Yeah. I'm trying to get there. He became a living soul. And so totally, we are spirit, soul, body. So we want to understand this part of us. Not only men, but male men, but women, women, uh -huh. women, female. Come on. I said there are two men. There's a male man and there's a female man. All right. Man. Catch that? I said there's a male man and there's a female man. And so you and I want to, amen, be totally. I said we want to be all his. Amen. And so the Bible says that we ought to be sanctified, you holy, your spirit. Your spirit, soul, body. Uh -huh. Amen. And so it is the it is the spirit. Yeah. Come on, Pat. Come on. James, let's look at that. James 1. Verse 23. James 1, 23. Mm -hmm. For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way. And so that that I see in the mirror, uh -huh. James says. Uh -huh. That that I look at and that that looks back at me is my body. Yes. I see my natural face. Yes. Yes. And would you understand? Amen. You never see your own face, not with your eye. You see the reflection. But your eyes have never looked in your face. I can look in your face and you can look in mine. But I, my eyes have never seen my natural face. I've only seen reflections that I believe to be me. James said, amen. Let's hear it again. I'm sorry. For if any man, for if any be a hearer of the word, if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, and not a doer, he is like unto a man, he becomes like a man, beholding his natural face, glance at his natural face, in a glass, in a glass, read. For he beholdeth himself. But because he beheld an image. Oh, please, come on. And go of his way. Touch him out and tell him, this image is killing me. This image is killing me. Yeah. Amen. I've got to get back in the image of God. Yeah. I've got to get back to the real me. This flesh got to carry me to hell. But this man, listen. So he said that he beholded his natural faith to the glance. And he forget it, what he had seen because he's done. He doesn't do what He's a forgetful hero, James said. Yeah. And that's the thing. Even though you want to, you have the want to, but you don't have the how to. Right. I said you got the want to, but you don't have the how to. Yeah. I don't care how badly you want to live for God, you can't do it in your flesh. Yeah. Oh, how about you look? Yeah. All right, come on, I gotta move. And straightway forget of what manner of man he was. And straightway forget of what kind of man of man he was. But whosoever looketh into but, the perfect but, but law of liberty. Whosoever, whosoever looketh in the perfect law of liberty. Yeah. We looked in the natural mirror. Uh -huh. Now we want to switch to the spirit. Uh -huh. yeah. I see how I look in the natural. Uh -huh. But I need, a, I need a snapshot of how I look to God in my spirit. Yeah. 